Polyboard can handle virtually any hardware and store it in the fittings library. In this video we will set up a Bloom hinge starting from the technical sheet and translate it into Polyboard's tooling application for hardware and apply it to a cabinet. We have set up a standard cabinet with a door that does not yet contain hardware as you can see in the 3D visual. Here you see the technical sheet of the hinge that we will set up in Polyboard. The type is an overlay type. First let's open the fittings library via the libraries menu. On the left side you can find all current configured hardware per manufacturer as stocked within our quick design libraries. Open the Bloom section and the Door subsection. Select the Door section, click on the plus sign to start a new hardware entry and then we add the name to the new hardware. We've already added the name to a new hardware so let's remove this new entry and select the newly named hinge. This is about a clip top hinge using a 0mm cross base plate. The version is applied and the overlay values are between 11 and 15mm. You can eventually also add the reference number for ease of ordering parts in the process. On the right side of the screen is a visual of two panels that will allow you to visualize the setup process to see if all toolings were applied correctly in relation to the panel and the panel face. These panels are only a visual and do not reflect the panels of your current cabinet. However, the panel position here is important as it defines how the hardware will be applied in relation to that position. In the middle, we have the tooling section, which is currently empty. Here we will add all the needed toolings to define our hardware according to its technical sheet. Let's start with the setup. First we need to define the reference axis. This is the reference taken to define the tooling position according to its X and Y coordinates. This reference axis is visualized as a red dotted line on the panel visual. We set the reference on phase 2. This means that we set the reference inside the cabinet. As we set up an overlay type, the panel's visual needs to be read as follows. The left panel, which is the underpassing panel, represents the cabinet side, and the other panel, which is overpassing, represents the door panel. For an inset type or built-in, the panel's representation will have to be seen oppositely. We now go to the tooling section and click on the plus sign. A new line gets added, and we now have to set the parameters according to the technical sheet. Let's first define the hinge boss. The technical sheet shows it needs to be a 35mm hole with a minimum depth of 13mm. The panel type needs to be the overpassing panel, as the hinge boss will be applied to the door panel. The face is the inside face of the panel and the type is drilling. The diameter needs to be set to 35mm. The through parameter must remain no, as we will not drill through the panel but to a specific defined depth. Let's set this depth to 14mm as a minimum of 13mm is required. You now see the first visual of the hinge boss positioned on the door panel. We do not set any X value as the hinge boss is the central part of the hardware and hardware is always created on its axis. We now need to define the Y position. On the technical sheet we can see that from the inside reference the hinge boss needs a fixed overlay value of 11mm. As it is currently centered on the reference line, the value is half the diameter, so 17.5mm. We need now to offset this with a value of minus 6.5mm to position it at the requested 11mm overlay. Now we are going to position the fixing holes of the hinge. According to the technical sheet, they need to be positioned at 9.5mm inwards from the hinge boss center and be set at a centered distance of 45mm. As we work on the same panel, we can duplicate the current tooling and correct the parameters accordingly. Click on the duplicate icon and earlier tooling will be copied as a second tooling line. We need to change the drilling diameter from 35 to 8 mm as we set up the insert that type. We also keep the same depth of 14 mm. You see the change instantly on the visual. Now let's position this at the requested 9.5mm inwards. We need to add 9.5mm to the current 6.5mm, so we end up at a minus Y value of 16mm. We must set the tooling on the lateral position as 45mm is requested between the fixing holes. As we build hardware on its axis, we need to set this first tooling at an X value of 45 divided by 2 equals 22.5mm. It is now very easy to position the second hole. 
duplicate the tooling and set the X value to the opposite position of minus 22.5 millimeter. We have now completed the setup for the hinge. Next is the setup of the base plate. We will use a cross plate of 0 millimeter using system screws. According to the technical sheet, we need to position two holes 32 millimeter apart and 37 millimeter from the front of the cabinet. These will be 5 millimeter holes at a depth of minimum 11.5 millimeter. However, we must consider the recess value of the door with the cabinet. You can see that this recess is by standard set at 1.5 mm. We will have to add this value to the 37 mm, giving us a total of 38.5 mm. Click on the plus sign to add a tooling. The panel type is now underpassing, and we set the face to face 2 for the inside face. The type remains drilling. The diameter is 5 mm for the system screws. Depth is a minimum of 11.5 mm, so we set it at 12 mm. You now have the visual of this drilling on the underpassing panel. The lateral position is to be set at an X value of 16 mm. The Y value is to be set at 38.5 mm. As previously, we duplicate the tooling and set the lateral X value to minus 16 mm to become an overall distance of 32 mm between the two holes. The last parameter to look at is the consider the recess value. This is located below the reference axis parameter and will define how a recess value would affect a tooling position. Currently, this is set to yes. By clicking on the simulation icons on top of the visual window, you can simulate how toolings are going to behave in specific situations. Let's click on the recess icon. You can see that the side panel is recessed from the door panel and that the base plate holes are moving along. This is not what we want. The holes were positioned at 38.5 mm, which includes the door recess of 1.5 mm, as we could see on the technical sheet. This simulated recess is the interpretation of that door recess, so we need to change this value to no. You can see that the reference line is now locked back to the door panel and ignores the recess. The result is that when the tooling position is calculated, a recess will not affect the position of the holes in relation to that reference line. The result is a 38.5 mm distance of the base plate holes from the door panel. As the door is standard set at 1.5 mm recess from the cabinet front, the actual distance of the base plate holes will be 37 mm from the cabinet front as requested in the technical sheet. The hinge is now fully set, so click OK. Let's now apply the hinge on this cabinet door. Select the door on the 2D screen and go to the link section in the property screen. You can see that the hinge side of the door is on the left side. You can read it in the property screen via the fitting side parameter, but also see it on the 2D drawing represented by a bold black line on the left side of the door. In the links parameter, select the left side and click on the three dots of the fitting parameter. This opens a window with a visual of the linked panels, and we can now add our newly created hinge to this door. Click on the plus sign and select our new bloom fitting. We now also need to assign a rule for Polyboard to calculate the correct position for the hardware on the panel. We select a maximum distance rule called 80-80-600-P. You now see the application of the hardware on the door panel. The name of the rule describes what it is doing. It positions the first hardware at 80mm from the top of the door and the last one at 80mm from the bottom of the door. If the center distance between these is more than 600mm, it will add an additional hardware to bring the distance back below the defined threshold of 600mm. Click on OK and the hinges will be positioned on the cabinet. As polyboard is parametric, changes to the cabinet dimension will recalculate the number of fittings required and their position. Let's change the cabinet height to 1500 mm. You can see that all panels have been recalculated as well as the application of the hardware and its rule. We now have four hinges instead of three. Polyboard offers a very flexible approach to setting up hardware and rules for application to your designs. The visuals guide you through the process of not only creation but also on the behavior and application. Hardware can be applied manually as presented but also via the software's manufacturing methods and sub methods which will provide a fully automated process. Thanks for watching this video.